Okay, um, today I'm going to show you how to draw, or how I draw, um, a cat face. And, um, I think I'm just going to draw a warrior cat so that I have a base to go off of for design. And plus, it might interest a few more people to watch my video. Okay, first you start with a basic circle sketch. Um, some people draw the lines like this so that they have a base, or not a base, but like a guideline for the, the face. Um, then I sort of sketch the basic shape and length, whatever you want to call it, um, proportion of the ears to the head. All right, and then I sort of, I just make a little triangle for the, like, an idea of where the nose would be. Um, and I usually change where it is. It's just so that I can start figuring out where I'm going to put the facial features. And I make a little, little light outline of the eyes so that I can shape my face properly. And I think for this video, I'll keep the mouth closed so that the video doesn't end up being too long. Um, so. Just gonna... Just trying to plan out what I'm doing here. And then just do a little line. I'm not very good at narrating videos, I can I can say that with certainty. <laughs> it's gonna make it look a little happy. It's gonna be a happy cat. Who doesn't like happy cats? Give him some hair, make him look cuter. Kind of a silent video, I guess. I'm not very good with technology, so I can't really 
make videos with music and cut them apart and put them back together again, make them look all pretty and professional, especially considering my um, computer isn't that great. <laughs> so. Put a little more detail into the nose. Not the best nose, but I think it's good enough for now. And let's go back and darken the outline I made. The eyes are a little off, but I think I might go with it. I don't know. It's a little better. I'll just make this guy look cute. Guy, girl, I don't know what it is. No. Why don't, now that we have a base, I'm gonna think, what cat can I make this? What warrior cat can I make this? How about, hmm. I can make it Cinder Pelt. Maybe? I don't know. I like Cinder Pelt. Honestly, I don't think there's anyone in the Warriors fandom that doesn't like Cinderpelt. Cinderheart, on the other hand. I personally like her as Cinderheart, but I don't like the whole idea that she's like a reincarnation. That doesn't make sense to me. Like, it, it doesn't... <sighs> it's just, it's weird. I don't know. Yes. Didn't really do too much changes to it. Uh, too many changes. Correcting my grammar today. Because um, I'm not doing color and that's where I would put most of the detail in for a character like her. So... I don't know, I think she's just a grayish kind of cat, like a light gray. Um, I don't know, I often see people draw her with similar fur to Blue Star, which kind of confuses me. Um, <laughs> that's not how she's described in the books. Um, but, yeah, I think she's just a gray cat. I don't think she has any tabby markings, so I'll leave it at that. And then put some whiskers in. Hmm. Crazy long whiskers. It's gonna have really long whiskers today. And whiskers going in all weird different directions. Okay. <laughs> That's a weird whisker. I'm going to make some of these shorter. Because that is just too long. I don't even I don't even know if you'll be able to see them on this video. My recorder is really crappy. A little fur in the ears. And 
I'm gonna put a line here. Maybe, maybe like these areas are a little darker or maybe a little lighter. Gray, I guess. Perhaps. Kind of just skewing with my imagination. I actually, actually, I think this is only like the second time that I've ever drawn cinder pelt. It's kind of crazy. Because I really love cinder pelt. Okay, so this video doesn't end up being too long. I will end it now. <laughs>